One of my first videos was about the Powerbeats Pro and how much I enjoyed them, and in that video I mentioned that I'll be doing another review of another Beats product coming up. I was waiting for them to be shipped at the time, and I didn't have them yet, but we have them here now, and they look great. So, they come in this big box. Uh, this is what they look like. This is what the Beats EP are. From first glance, they kind of look like a mix of the Beats Mixer and the Beats Solo. Uh, they've got the size of the Solo, but they've also got these arms similar to the Beats Mixer. So it's pretty standard for Beats packaging. So there's this sleeve that comes off, and then we're and then we're greeted with the Beats logo on top here. More little product information on the bottom, and then from there this lifts up. Nothing inside there. And then we're greeted with this message of change the way you hear sound with, yet again, the Beats logo on this as well. Then we lift this up and it's just a little piece of cardboard. And then here we have them, the Beats EP in a bag. So looks like Beats went away from the hard shell or even the soft shell zip up case and they went with this very flimsy, hardly protective uh, fabric case instead. I guess it might be because these don't fold up and there's no hinges that need to be protected. Who knows? Um, but I guess you get what you pay for. These are probably one of the most cheapest, least expensive Beats headphones that you can buy. So here we have the Beats EP. All that's left in here is uh, a little inside shell. Two more Beats logos, some product information. The Beats sticker as usual, a little smaller than the ones that came in other ones. And that's it for that. Here we have them, the Beats EP. So they are pretty small, the ear cups are pretty small. I've got a big head, so I know I have to extend them pretty big. This is what they look like, pretty sleek. They don't protrude off of the head too much, so that's pretty nice. So the headpiece is a piece of hard plastic with some, it almost feels like a rubber bubble underneath. This bubble feels pretty comfortable for long hours of use, sitting on your head whenever you have it. And then inside you can see that there's a little uh, slot in the headband and that's where the metal ear cup connectors go when you slide them in and out. There's no clip, it's just friction base that holds them tight. Uh, then you've got this little wire that goes from ear cup to ear cup going through here and when you collapse them it just kind of folds up a little bit like this. These are a wired pair of headphones. Uh, they're not wireless yet. Maybe we'll make a Beats EP wireless, but I don't think so. So on the wire, you've got this classic looking Beats um, microphone and button combo. Uh, same thing that they've been putting on all of their wires for quite some time. And the cable itself is actually pretty long, longer than most headphones from Beats that I've had in the past. And then there's the ear cups. So these are made with leather on the outside with a nice little plush cup as well. And then inside of this cup is a little piece of mesh that covers over the speakers. And then you've got plastic casing on the back. I've tried these out and they're not the greatest when you wear glasses with them. While they do have a pretty strong clamp down, they're also clamping down on your glasses into your skull and that gets pretty painful after a while. So. I'm not sure if these will be a good long-term product for me, but that's because I wear glasses and they hurt me, but that doesn't mean that they'll be hurting everyone or even everyone with glasses. As for the sound, the sound is quite typical for what Beats is known for. Sounding good, but that basically just means that they're EQ'd way up in the bass. Personally, I like a lot of bass in my music, so to me these actually do sound pretty good. Uh, but I haven't tried them out with classical music or other kinds of music that doesn't sound better with a lot of bass, so I'm not too sure about that. But for me, these sound pretty good, and 
They're actually pretty rugged considering that they're just plastic and rubber up here. You can bend them a lot, which is pretty nice coming from the original Beats where you would just open them just a little bit too much and the, the headband would crack. So having this amount of flexibility with uh, a Beats headphone is pretty refreshing after these years. One thing I forgot to mention is that these ear cups do actually move around, so that helps contour your face and have them sit down if you have a bit of a wonky face. So that concludes this video. Uh, if you are looking for a pair of these, I got these for about 50% off at Best Buy, so if you want a good pair of cheap but well-made headphones, I would actually recommend these. Uh, especially if you find them on sale or refurbished or what have you. I wouldn't recommend paying full price for them just because of... because uh, I don't know if they're worth the full price, but I would say that they're worth a, a sale price from their original price. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big thumbs up. Uh, I'll be making another review about some more headphones coming up soon, so be sure you're subscribed and Click the bell so you don't miss that video. Uh, see you in the next video. Peace.